Have you ever wondered how much sleep is best for recovery? This simple question belies a complex interplay of biology and behavior that shapes our health and well-being. Sleep, while often overlooked, is a critical aspect of recovery, a time when our body and mind rejuvenate themselves. It's a cyclical journey, moving through distinct stages, each with its own unique role in the grand scheme of healing and restoration. From the light drowsiness of the initial stages to the profound depths of REM sleep, each phase is a crucial player in the symphony of recovery. It's not just about quantity, but also quality. And when we don't provide our bodies enough of this restorative respite, the consequences can be far-reaching, affecting not just our physical health, but our mental vitality as well. But how much sleep is really enough? And how can we maximize its benefits for our recovery? Now let's delve into the science of sleep and recovery. Sleep isn't just a passive activity, it's a complex and fascinating process. It's akin to an intricate symphony where different stages of sleep play their part in a harmonious blend. So, let's delve into the science behind this fascinating process. Sleep can be divided into two main types, rapid eye movement or REM sleep and non-REM sleep. Each has its unique role in the grand scheme of sleep. Non-REM sleep consists of three stages. The first stage is a transition between wakefulness and sleep. The second stage is a period of light sleep, where the heart rate slows down and body temperature drops. The third stage is a period of deep sleep, essential for feeling refreshed in the morning. Then comes the REM sleep, often associated with dreaming. It's during this stage that your brain becomes more active. This stage is crucial for learning and memory, as it's when your brain consolidates and processes information from the day before. But sleep isn't just about helping your brain function optimally, it's also a hormonal symphony. For instance, during the initial phases of sleep, your body releases growth hormone, an essential player in tissue growth and muscle repair. Meanwhile, cortisol, the stress hormone, decreases, allowing your body to relax and recover. Moreover, during sleep, the hormone leptin, which signals satiety, increases, while ghrelin, the hormone that signals hunger, decreases. This hormonal balance aids in maintaining a healthy weight, which is vital for overall health and recovery. So you see sleep is not just a time when your body and brain shut off. Instead, it's a dynamic period of restoration and strength building for your brain and body. It's a time when the day's experiences are processed and stored, and your body's cells are repaired and rejuvenated. In essence, sleep is a fundamental pillar of health and recovery. It's a complex ballet of brain waves, physiological processes and hormonal changes, all working together to ensure that you wake up feeling refreshed and ready to take on a new day. Now that we understand the science, let's explore how much sleep we actually need. So, how much sleep should you get for optimal recovery? A question that has puzzled many of us, especially in this fast-paced world where time is a precious commodity. Well, let's dive in and uncover the mystery. Sleep requirements can vary significantly across different age groups. For instance, newborns need as much as 14 to 17 hours of sleep. As they transition into infancy, their sleep needs reduced to 12 to 15 hours per day. Toddlers, on the other hand, require 11 to 14 hours of sleep, while preschoolers need between 10 to 13 hours. As children enter their school years, their sleep needs continue to decrease. School-age children typically require 9 to 11 hours, whereas teenagers need about 8 to 10 hours. As for adults, including the elderly, 7 to 9 hours of sleep is generally recommended for optimal recovery. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's a broad range, how do I know exactly how much sleep I need? The truth is, individual sleep needs can vary due to several factors including lifestyle, health condition, and even genetics. For instance, someone leading a highly active lifestyle might require more sleep for adequate recovery. Similarly, if you're battling a health condition, your body might demand more sleep to heal and rejuvenate. And we can't ignore the fact that some people are genetically predisposed to require more or less sleep. Remember, these are just general guidelines. Your own optimal sleep duration could vary within these ranges. The key is to listen to your body. If you wake up feeling refreshed and stay alert throughout the day, you're probably getting enough sleep. But if you're constantly tired, it might be a sign that you're not getting the rest your body needs. In the end, it's not just about the quantity but also the quality of sleep that counts. So make sure to maintain good sleep hygiene for a restful sleep experience. But what happens if you don't get enough sleep? Stay tuned to find out. Sleep deprivation is a serious issue with significant health repercussions. Indeed, when we fail to give our bodies the rest they need, we open the door to a host of potential problems. Let's begin with the physical. 
Ever noticed how you tend to catch colds or feel under the weather when you haven't been sleeping well? That's no coincidence. Inadequate sleep weakens our immune system, making us more susceptible to infections. Furthermore, chronic sleep deprivation has been linked to more serious health issues such as heart disease and diabetes. Our bodies need sleep to perform essential maintenance and repair work. Denying them that time can lead to long-term damage. Moving on to the cognitive consequences, sleep deprivation can lead to a decline in mental abilities. Our brains need sleep to consolidate memories and process information, so when we don't get enough, we may struggle with memory, concentration and decision-making. You may have experienced this as forgetting where you left your keys, or struggling to focus on your work after a night of poor sleep. The impact of inadequate sleep extends to our emotional health as well. Sleep deprivation can trigger mood disorders such as anxiety and depression. It can make us more irritable, less patient, and more prone to stress. This can strain our personal relationships and reduce our overall quality of life. Finally, let's not overlook the increased risk of accidents due to impaired alertness and reaction time. Whether it's nodding off behind the wheel or making a critical error at work, the consequences can be catastrophic. So you see, the cost of skimping on sleep is far greater than just feeling groggy the next day, it's about more than just recovery from a hard day's work or a vigorous workout. Ensuring adequate sleep is a critical component of maintaining good health and recovery. It is a non-negotiable aspect of our well-being, a precious resource that we cannot afford to squander. In conclusion, sleep is not a luxury, but a necessity for recovery and overall health. Let us not forget the compelling evidence we've traversed together today. The intricate dance of sleep stages, the delicate balance of our circadian rhythms, all working in harmony to ensure our bodies and minds rest, recover, and rejuvenate. We've explored the science behind sleep, a complex process far beyond mere rest. It's a symphony of biological processes, each serving a crucial role in our well-being. We've also ventured into the realm of sleep duration, understanding that the golden rule of eight hours may not be a one-size-fits-all solution. Individual needs vary, and listening to our bodies is paramount. The consequences of inadequate sleep should not be underestimated. It's a detrimental cocktail of cognitive impairment, hindered physical performance, and compromised immune function. A price too high for any perceived gains from burning the midnight oil. In the grand scheme of things, sleep is a cornerstone of health, akin to nutrition and exercise. It is not just about quantity but quality. Prioritizing it is not an indulgence but a necessity, an investment in ourselves. So let's commit to tuning into our bodies, understanding our unique sleep needs, and making the necessary adjustments to our routines. Because at the end of the day, health is wealth, and sleep is a significant contributor to that wealth. Remember, your body needs rest to recover and rejuvenate. So ensure you're getting enough sleep. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such content.